Hello and welcome to the craft room here in my 1902 farmhouse. My name is Alicia with Country Mama Musings and I'd like to welcome you back for week 38 of our heirloom Afghan crochet along. This week is a beautiful, beautiful pattern called the diagonal popcorn. We'll be working all of these popcorns in this beautiful diagonal pattern. So get your supplies and let's get started. Today we will be using our size H crochet hook and color C, whatever color you have designated to be color C. For me it is teal. This is block 38 and it will be worked in rows. So we're going to start with a slip knot. Making sure that you leave yourself a nice long tail that can be sewn back into your block later. And to start, we're going to chain 27. One, two, three, four, five, six, 25, 26, and 27. Let's move on to row one. We are going to half double crochet in the third chain from the hook and in each chain across. Not counting the loop that's already on our hook, we're gonna count over one, two, three, and place a half double crochet in this stitch here. Yarn over into that stitch, grabbing our yarn and pulling it back through. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's our first half double crochet. We're going to place a half double crochet all the way across. Let's move on to our next stitch, yarn over. Into the next chain, I try to make sure I catch at least two strands of yarn there. Pulling our yarn back through, yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook. Continue that all the way to the end of the chain and I'll meet you here. 24, and don't forget your last chain here. This, this is half double crochet number 25 right here at the end. So let's take a look at row one. Remove my hook here. We have 25 half double crochets worked in our 27 stitches. Our pattern doesn't say to count these chains that we skipped. It just says we should have 25 half double crochets, so let's not count these here. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. I want to point this out to you at this time that we're not counting these chains that we skipped right here as per our pattern because for our next rows we're going to chain two and turn but it does not say that we are counting that chain two as a half double crochet. It's just a means of getting us to our next row. So make sure that you don't get confused in your count. You're not going to count these chain twos. So getting our hook back onto our work here, let's move on to row two. We're going to chain two, one, two, and turn our work. And again, we're not counting this as a half double crochet. It doesn't tell us in our pattern to do so. According to our pattern, we are going to place a half double crochet in the first three half double crochet, starting right here. So here's one, two, and three. Now I wanna point out to you, since we're not counting this, don't try to go over here to the edge and put a half double crochet. Go to the very first stitch that looks accessible to you. Put in your first half double crochet. So here we have one, two, and three. Now, in the next stitch here, we're going to work a popcorn. It's a half double crochet popcorn. So we're going to place five half double crochet in this next stitch here. So here's one half double crochet. two in that same stitch, three in this same stitch, four, and 
and 5. So here we have five half double crochet in this stitch here. Now we're going to create a popcorn and we just created a popcorn in our last block that we made and it varied on how you would make your popcorn depended upon whether you were right-handed or left-handed. That's because there were additional design elements to that block. This block we just have the popcorns. We don't have to worry about where we enter from the front or the back on our popcorns. So to keep everything fluid I'm going to just enter from the front for every popcorn that we make for this pattern and it won't make a difference. So counting over five V's, one, two, three, four, five, we're going to place our hook in that stitch getting both the front loop and the back loop. We're going to grab that loop that we dropped right there. Make sure that your tension allows you to tighten that up a little bit and pull this loop that we dropped and we've got back on our hook now. We're going to pull that through the loop that's on our hook. And we're going to close that and that makes that little popcorn there. It's popping out to the front where we need it. And we're going to chain one to close it. And there's our first popcorn made. Now we're going to half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. So right here to our very next stitch, here's one half double crochet, two, three, four, and five. And this is going to provide the space in between our popcorns. In the very next stitch, we're going to create another popcorn, so that's five half double crochet in the same stitch. So right here in this next stitch, placing five, one half double crochet, two half double crochet, three, four, and five. So here's our five. We're going to remove our hook, counting over five V's, not counting this loop, the V's. One, two, three, four, and five. Right here, we're going to place our hook in, making sure we get both the front loop and the back loop. Fold that popcorn over a little bit so we can get that loop back under our hook and pull it through, creating our popcorn. Again, making sure that your tension is so that you can kind of pull that tight so your popcorn pops a little bit. And we're going to chain one to secure that stitch. Going back, right back to our same pattern, we're going to complete five half double crochet in the next five stitches. So here's one, two, three, four, and five. In our next stitch, we're going to create a popcorn. So five half double crochet, one, two, three, four, and five. Removing our hook, two, three, four, five. Placing our hook into that stitch right there, the fifth V, the very first half double crochet that we created in this popcorn series. Pulling that through, making sure we give it a little tug there, and finishing that off with a chain to close the stitch. Continuing on, five half double crochet. One, two, three, five. We're going to create another popcorn right here in the very next stitch. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Removing our hook, counting over one, two, three, four, five. Placing our hook in that stitch, getting the, both the front loop and the back loop. Loading that dropped hook back onto our hook. That dropped stitch, sorry. And closing it off with a chain. We've got three left. Remember, we're not counting these little chains over here that we skipped. We need three more half double crochet. So here's one, two, three, four, 
two, and three. Right there. All right, let's take a look at row two. Just as we've had in our other uh, blocks that we've made, we have to make sure we have a balance. So we started with three half double crochet here, and we ended with three half double crochet here. We have four lovely popcorns, and each popcorn has a series of five half double crochet in between. Let's count these up because we should have 25 stitches. Three and three, and here we have 15. That makes 21. 22, 23, 24, 25. When you're making these popcorns, they're gonna count as one stitch. And I want you to make sure that you don't count that extra chain as a stitch. You're gonna want the count at the end of your row to be 25, not counting the chain, just counting the popcorn as a whole. Okay, and that'll kind of come into play here as we move on with our pattern. So let's move on to row three. Hey, are you enjoying putting together all of the beautiful heirloom sampler blocks for our heirloom Afghan crochet along? If so, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, check out the playlist that has all of the videos for every block for our crochet along, and be sure to share the video with your friends that like to crochet. Okay, let's get back to our project for this week. We're going to chain two, and remember we're not counting this as a half double crochet, and we're turning our work. We are going to half double crochet in each stitch across. That includes our popcorns, so don't make the mistake of trying to work into the popcorn and this individual chain. Don't, don't try to get too complicated here. Just work your way across, making sure that you've gotten every half double crochet and the popcorn, and then making sure that you end up with 25. So let's count this first row of the back side of our work here through. Half double crochets across, here's one, two. You're gonna kinda get to this little place here. Just go ahead and just do a three, four, five, six, I want to show you what I'm doing right here. We're at 20. When we get where that chain is, it kind of closes that. I just kind of go under that and grab 21, 22, 23, 24. And here we've got our last half double crochet from that prior row. That's 25. Remember, we're not going to do anything in these chain two right here. So let's look at row three here. We have 25 even half double crochets going across our work. We've involved working in where our popcorns are and in each half double crochet across. And this is what it'll look like on the front side. Now don't jump ahead of me now. Don't think, okay, I've got this down. I'm gonna just do what she did before. If you do that, you're just gonna end up with straight rows of popcorn. We don't want that. This is the diagonal popcorn. So things are gonna change up here in the next row. So let's move on to row four. Getting our yarn back on our hook here. For row four, we're going to chain two and turn our work. Now we're going to half double crochet in the first five. Here we have double crocheted in the first three. Here we're gonna have double crochet in the first five. Starting right here. Remember, you're not gonna try to work over here in this chain. We're gonna right here to this stitch here, and we're gonna do five across. One, two, three, four, 
and five. And you can see that that brings our work over from where our popcorn is. It's not gonna be stacked right on top of each other. We're gonna work a popcorn in the very next stitch, which is over here, and this is gonna start our diagonal of our popcorns. So in this very next stitch, we're gonna work a popcorn. That's five half double crochet. There's one, two, our hook count over five stitches one two three four five placing our hook in that stitch grabbing the loop that we dropped and giving ourselves a little bit of tension there and pulling that back through and closing that off with a chain so you can see now that our popcorns are offset they're going at a diagonal but our edges here are nice and straight we're just going to continue on this row with five half double crochet and then complete a popcorn. Five half double crochet, then complete a popcorn. I'll meet up with you here at the end of the row. We're here to the end of row four. We've got three popcorns completed. We've just completed our series of five half double crochet, and gosh, we're here to the end. What do we do? We need four popcorns, but we're kind of running out of room, but that's okay. We're gonna place a popcorn here in this second to the last stitch here in this row, so here's one, two, three, four, and five. We're kind of running out of real estate. Counting over one, two, three, four, five. Placing our hook in that stitch. Grabbing that hook that we dropped and completing our popcorn. We've got one stitch left here. We're gonna go ahead and place a half double crochet in that stitch, making sure you get both the back loop and the front loop, because you don't want this to stretch out of shape as your work progresses. Okay, there we go. So we've completed row four, and you can see our popcorns are all going diagonal. And they're just gonna to continue to go diagonal as we go, but don't, don't jump ahead of me again. We've got one more row before we complete our series and then we will have a repeat of rows and then it'll throw everything together for the diagonals. So what we're going to do for our next row is we're going to repeat row three. Anytime we have a row in between our popcorns, it's just a repeat of row three. Chain two, turn your work, and work a half double crochet in every stitch across, making sure you have 25 when you end up here at the end. I'll meet up with you at the end of the row and we will move on to row six which will be another popcorn row, but things change up again with our numbers. So I'll meet you here at the end of this row. 23, 24, right here to our very last stitch, 25 half double crochet. We're going to chain two and turn to complete row six. For row six, we're going to half double crochet in the first half double crochet. So right here's a half double crochet. And we're going to work right into our popcorn in the next half double crochet right here. So here's a popcorn. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Finishing that popcorn off with a chain. And now we're gonna start a whole new row of diagonals. They'll start here now and come across. So when we were here, we did our popcorn and then we ended with a half double crochet. Here we're doing a half double crochet and starting a popcorn. All of our rows are gonna start going off in the same diagonal pattern. So we're going to continue row six with the same pattern that we've had before. So now what we're going to do is we're going to complete a half double crochet in each of the next five stitches across. There's two, three, four, and five. Then we're gonna complete a popcorn in the next stitch. Then we're just gonna continue on with completing five half double crochets, make a popcorn. Five half double crochets, make a popcorn. I'll meet up with you when we reach the end of the row here. Finishing up the final popcorn of row six, and we have 
these stitches left here we're going to go ahead and place a half double crochet in each one across should be five of them so here's one two three four and right here is our very last stitch there's five Let's take a look at row six. You can really see the diagonals popping out now all the way across our work. And let's see what we've done here. When we did our first row of popcorns, we had a beginning and ending sequence of half double crochets of three and three. When we completed row four, we had a sequence of half double crochets of five and one. And then when we complete row six, our half double crochet sequence is one and five. So these have just flip-flopped each other, and then this will always be three and three. So what we're going to do now is we're going to complete row seven, which once again is going to be a whole nother series of half double crochet all the way across. Then we will repeat rows two through seven. So row two, three, four, five, six, and then this will be seven. We'll repeat that a series of times until our block is approximately seven inches square. I'm gonna add several more rows and I will meet up with you when we're ready to measure our square and see how we're doing as far as size. I'll see you there. I'm about two thirds of the way through our second run here on rows two through seven. And I just wanted to stop and show you the progress where you can really see where these diagonals are beginning to build on each other as they work across our block. Your block should have nice straight edges without any obvious gaps and your work shouldn't be leaning one way or the other. Also, it shouldn't be tapering. If it's tapering in, you should double check your count, make sure everything's where it needs to be. If you notice that you're tapering out or ending up with extra stitches, it's very possible that somewhere in here you might have added an extra stitch. Again, if it's tapering in, you may have accidentally omitted a stitch. You need to make sure that every time you work across a row, any row, you have 25 stitches. Keeping in mind that the five half double crochet and one chain is considered one stitch to make the popcorn. So you should always make sure that you have 25 stitches across, counting each popcorn and its chain to close it as one stitch. I'm gonna continue on with my block until I'm ready to measure and I'll see you there. 25, I'm finishing up what I'm thinking is going to be the last row here of my block number 38, the diagonal popcorn. So let's see here, I've repeated row two, four, six, two, four, six, two, four. I did not complete the series a full three times, but I do have a lovely block here. I'm gonna measure it up against one of my other blocks to see how close we are. Isn't that a fun diagonal pattern? Here I have a block from a week prior. We're just gonna put this up against here and see how it measures up. Side to side we look good. Here's the top, down here is the bottom. I don't think we have too much more to go. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna stop right here. If I place this one on the bottom, this one has a, uh, we don't have our edging on this one yet, so it's not complete. But if I put the new one on top of it here, you can see we measure up just where we need to be. So I'm gonna stop right here with where I'm at on these rows. And I wanna point out to you that it's very important that you end this row with the row three that is just nothing but the half double crochet across. And with that, you started down here, you started your block with the chain, row of chains and half double crochets you're gonna to wanna to end with half double crochets because then when you put your edging on, you're gonna have the same edging all the way around. It will be balanced. If you stop on one of these popcorn rows, you're really gonna have a hard time getting your edging on. So make sure you stop your block with a half double crochet row, this row three. So don't finish off when you get to this point. We've finished off this last row three. We've measured our work. We know where we wanna be. 
you want to make sure that you do your edging. Do your edging on the front side. If you have to flip this over and then do your edging, make sure you do that. You want the edging. You want to work your edging around on your correct side facing towards you. So don't cut your yarn. Your first round of edging is going to be with the same color as your block. And then your second round of edging is going to be completed with color A, and that's the color you've determined to join all of your squares together with. So once you get your edging on, and I'll make sure I put uh, an I card here to the video for the edging, plus I'll have it down in the description below. But once you're done getting all of your edging on, there's only really one thing left to do. You're going to want to get yourself a little tag like this one or something that you can mark your block indicating what week it is, what color it is, put the name on it. So this is week 38, the diagonal popcorn done in color C. Once you have everything taken care of for this block, just put it away where it can stay safe and dry with your other blocks until you're ready to put your afghan together. Okay, friends, that's it from the craft room for today. Until we see you again next time here on the farm for the next block, which is going to be block 39, the popcorn diamond. Until we see you then, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.